bomb in the waiting that we have been tracking for a very long time. I did a trailer reaction to this. I tried to give props to Kate Blanchett for during the lockdown, she surrounded herself in the source material of the games, really took it seriously by all accounts, but the moment that that trailer dropped and we seen the geriatric cast for a millennial staple looter shooter franchise, you knew that the writing was on the wall. So everybody and their mother, rightly, as we're learning right now, called this for the bomb that it was. And now that the review embargo lifted, what was it, the day before? Thursday previews. It was earlier this week, sometime. I got to get this video out right now because even before the weekend is over, nobody's going to be talking about this. The way that it's tracking at the box office is absolutely abysmal. Deadpool and Wolverine very likely going to break a billion dollars unless something cataclysmic happens. And Borderlands is going to be lucky to finish in the top five because nobody likes this film. Now that people have the opportunity to go see it, they're deriding it as something even worse than Madam Web. Even worse than Argyle. The American Society of Magical Negroes has competition at the basement of 2024. It's so nice, after a couple of weeks off, that Hollywood has finally returned to its regular scheduled programming of absolute tripe. But I'm sure you're looking at the image that's right there on the screen. Uh, I always keep pointing in the wrong direction, but you can see that lovely, rare, 0% review on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, that's impressive, but that is the critics after all. Okay, but critics can be wrong. There's normally a disparity, and whenever you see that discrepancy, it could just be a second look hit that doesn't gel well with the politics of the professional review class, so we're just gonna have to go see what everybody's tone and tenor on this is. The Borderlands movie debuts with a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm not sure I knew of anyone, Borderlands fan or not, who believed that this movie adaptation of the game was going to be good based on everything from casting to trailers. Now, as reviews come in ahead of the release tomorrow, those fears have been validated, and then some. But hey, you know, like I gave Clay er, Kate Blanchett some props in the run-up for at least engaging with the source material Material. Even as horrifically cast as she was, she at least seemed to give it the old college try. And she's one of the aspects that's getting praised, but more on that in a moment. As I write this, the Borderlands a movie has a flat 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. No positive reviews whatsoever. Oh, and we have an update. A single positive review has come in, raising it to 3%. And the ones that are in are not just negative, but brutal. Here's a sampling. Discussing film. Okay, noted Twitter user that normally just puts out headlines and scoops and rumors and industry announcements. Uh, the fans deserve a lot better than whatever director Eli Roth is trying to do with Borderlands. This is a video game movie curse at its worst. Oof, men's journal. If Borderlands doesn't stop studio executives from salivating at the sight of every single IP that comes across their desk, nothing will. Next best picture. It's impressive how Roth can elicit the poor quality of 2000s video games adaptations energy, yet somehow forget the discernible sense of fun or style that made even those terrible movies stand out yo so you're going back to like doom or something like that okay well, some of them other video game adaptations we got from back in the cut mortal kombat well the first one's great mortal kombat annihilation okay that's more like it uh the first super mario brothers movie that's all from the 90s i guess but if it's hearkening back to that without any of the charm oh lord have mercy borderlands is an abysmal waste the beloved franchise that takes a kooky band of murderous misfits and drains the life out of their first adventure together yeah that's mostly because i would imagine a lot of the filming was done after they served the early bird special and kate blanchett and jamie lee curtis and stupid ass jack black probably had to call it an evening before their stories come on if that's coming out of IGN of all places, and they're not saying anything positive, you kind of know what's going on. But like it said here with the update, there is a single positive review, and guess who had the positive review? Good old Grace Randolph. So I enjoyed the Borderlands film. Whatever, man. I had a good time. Pretty crazy to set your review to post at 3 a.m. and discover you're the only one who liked it. Never played the game, to be fair. What was her positive review on that? Okay, in in between oh, CG Magazine, it all 
Oh, it all just looks like celebrities participating in a Borderlands themes escape room instead of an actual movie. Yo, two out of ten. That's that's trash. I've never played the games, but I got a kick out of Blanchett starring in a movie like this and doing a great job. I do wish the script had been adjusted a bit better to accommodate her age. Oh. She's poorly cast. Okay, cool. Blanchett fans will enjoy this. Not sure about any time else. You're saying it's a bad film, but you like Kate Blanchett. All right. Good for you, Grace, the forever optimist. Unless we're talking about the acolyte, then you can finally take your head out of your cavernous ass. But the only other person to defend it? Well, take two CEO, I guess. Uh, he's got to try to do something to save his failing franchise because this is something else we've been talking about alongside the trailer. It's like, what the hell is Borderlands at this point in time? It's been how long since 3 came out? And is there any real clamoring for a return of this edgy the hedgy franchise? It's, it's a franchise that's never really done anything for me. Okay, I'm not a fan of the looter shooter mechanics. I thought the comedy in the writing was juvenile at best and insulting at worst. I was never going to see this movie unless it was heralded as the second coming of Christ. So thankfully, I was just saved two and a half hours of my time. But yes, the Take-Two CEO responds to abysmal reception of Eli Roth's live-action Borderlands. Asks fans to give the film a chance. Yeah, no, hey, please, please buy, please buy a ticket and support this because somebody's got to. In the face of an absolute panning by critics, the CEO of Borderlands series publisher Take-Two is asking fans to give Eli Roth's a live action film adaptation of the Gearbox developed looter shooter series a chance. Don't listen to your eyes or your ears. No, no, no. no, no. All of that stuff is deceiving you. We've actually got a good film here. All right. Arriving roughly a decade after the iron was hot for such an adaptation, the live action Borderlands film. To say the least, is an absolute miss thus far with critics. As of writing, the film currently holds a 7%. Wow, it's gone up so much over the course of Thursday on Rotten Tomatoes. But let's see what it actually has right now. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of rotten reviews. Some 2 out of 5, some 1 out of 5s. Flat out bad, 2 out of 5, a top critic. Oh, Donald, a great name from the Irish Times. Console junkies will find themselves involuntarily hammer hammering an imagined X button in the hope of getting back to the gameplay. No good, you're stuck in this whack OBS. Oh, it's terrible, boy. Oh, yo, that's bad. Okay, so it's dropped back down to six and audience score, 49%. I would imagine that's probably a hell of a lot higher than it actually should be, but yo, that's real bad. Okay, but it's funny. Well, probably the only thing associated with this film that's going to be funny. Yeah, it's being review bombed, but by critics this time around. Is there anybody in the mass media that's going to run with that? The same uh, defense that they want to run for shows like The Acolyte? Like they're coming in harsher, harsher than even The Acolyte was, because that was in that was in the 30s, right? But you guys are coming in six percent. But what about top critics? Okay, top critics. Uh, paltry zero percent okay but all critics yeah th things get a little bit better with all critics why does anybody want to say that it's being review bombed that's terrible notably while the film yeah, also presently holds 60 percent audience rating 49 percent now uh, it should also be noted that not only has the film uh, yet to officially release well now it has by the time that you're seeing this and then by the time that i'm recording it but a number of positive ratings were i are given by either diehard borderlands fans i'm surprised that they could go ahead and um, mash out a coherent sentence in between the Cheeto dust cake to their fingers and just simply for how fat their digits are because these aren't exactly the smartest people out there. Uh, the movie is not as good as Bucky Larson Born to be a Star or Mega Man vs. the Doom Syndicate uh, but it was good enough to make me uh, my wife of over five years very clearly trolls. Oh okay cool that's nice. Likewise based on 23 total critic reviews well now it's 30 right? Uh, the Kate Blanchett and Kevin Hart. Yo he's in this? Oof, you better go back to Kai Sinat streams if you want to get good reception from an audience. Oh, holds a generally unfavorable aggregate score of 29% on oh, or 29 on Metacritic. Yeah, that's even worse. Uh, with only one review, that being from Screen Rants, Tati uh, Tatian? 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 Old Tate Licker. Uh, Hollander, uh, who considered outright Oh, being considered outright positive, and even that said, yeah, acknowledges some jokes fall flat. Oh yeah, I'd imagine that they're going to be machine gunning out references to this beleaguered franchise, and also just shit that would make your eyes roll so hard into the back of your head you give yourself a third grade concussion, perhaps due to pacing or editing, and the movie rushes through plot points uh, without luxuriating uh, in the finer details. This is Borderlands, okay? Like, this isn't an in-depth story. But what do you expect, bro? 
This is absolutely bad. Like, all of the casting, okay? Mad Moxie, who is supposed to be a smoking hot broad, is portrayed by old-ass Gina Gershon. Like, what are you doing? Every single aspect of this film was a failure. Everybody could see it from the outing, okay? Maybe the only thing, maybe the only thing that you could say could potentially be a positive is Ariana Greenblatt, because she was decent in the bit roles that she had before, but everything else, okay? Jack Black's insufferability as a voice actor, the old broads that are out there are masquerading as action stars, and the fact that this is adapting a franchise that nobody gave a shit about in the past five years, and this is at least 10 years past its expiration date being relevant in the pop culture sphere. I don't know if this sets back movie, or I'm sorry, video game adaptations for the big screen, but it's looking ever more like The Last of Us. Take that for what you will. It was at least high quality and, you know, by the people that see our... Yeah, seen it through was well regarded. I'm so disinterested in it. I, I didn't even watch EFAP's coverage of it. In the Super Mario Brothers movie, those are the outliers. We are still firmly in the camp where the Halo TV show is a much more accurate bellwether as to where Hollywood thinks. Video adaptations rank in regards to giving it proper care and consideration. Oh boy. Looking forward to that uh, God of War adaptation over at Amazon. Yeah, I didn't think so. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.